okay uh now today we are going to see the analog okay display in scada so from plc uh, we are having some analog uh, calculations you can see we are having scaling values this is a converter which is converting your analog signal means uh, with, uh, some parameters you are measuring in the field like temperature pressure flow level speed okay ph values okay so these parameters we need they are actually in the field okay by using some sensors right so they are non electrical signal because they are having some different units temp degree centigrade fahrenheit okay so your plc cannot understand those units so what we are doing is we are converting those units into our required signal that is your electrical signal for plc okay so it is like in a range okay it's a predefined range like from 0 to 10 volts or minus 10 volts to plus 10 volts or it can be in current also means 4 milliamps to 20 milliamps or minus 20 milliamps to plus 20 milliamps or 0 milliamps to 20 milliamps like that okay so after conversion uh, <clears throat> of this non electrical to electrical signal again we need to convert that into our required range okay required count value we say so that value will be coming here in the piw 800 okay 800 is uh, a address for analog signal here okay <clears throat> so in plc we will see what will be the how this addressing we can take okay so here for our monitoring limit has set as 0 to 100 low limit and high limit so what are the values coming here okay that is converted into 0 to 100 so minimum will be 0 maximum will be 100 that result is displayed in this out in this output that is called md10 okay so here already i have made this logic to check the result you can see i will use this simulator here by moving this slider integer you can see i am getting some value there for this 6761 i am getting output as 24.45 which is between 0 to 100 okay so if i go to maximum value here so you get a maximum value as 100 this is a maximum value 100 we will get here okay so this value i want which will be changing from minimum to maximum okay as the parameter values changing okay so they, that also will be increasing or decreasing right just like a level in a tank will be increasing and decreasing okay so that also we want to monitor or temperature values which will be frequently increasing or decreasing temperature uh, pressure flow speed okay so those values we are displaying in scala so for this md10 we need to create a tag we need to create a tag in scala so i create one tag here in tag management that is a output okay so we are getting in a flag, uh, floating point order okay so like for example i created as a level so floating point means here we are having points okay 0.0 0.1 okay 100 point something okay or 50 point something okay some values of of the point we are getting more digits okay that is a floating point value or also known as real value okay so here md10 is the address now i have created one new tag as level so which is collecting data from plc from this address okay so right now here 50.58.3152 is there okay so this value i want to display in scala for that i go to the cc explorer after creating tag go to graphic designer here i create one more new picture here right click on this rename for example i take it as tank or tank level something okay now double click open this picture
so here we have different options to display that value in graphics okay we are going to see this different options here Now, here from right side window standard, you can see we are having smart objects. In this, we are having some options like bar. Just select a bar and drag it over here in the graphic window. And when you release, you can see it is asking for the bar configuration. Okay, so here you can assign the tag name for which you want to show the value. So click on this yellow button, select your tag level. Say okay. Here we are having update time, means when it should update your level, okay, bar level. For every two seconds it should update or for example, every 250 milliseconds or upon change. So I'll select upon change as we are practicing. So maximum value is 100. Minimum is zero. Say okay. Next, another option is IO field. From smart object, you can select IO field. Yes, you can drag it over here. Here also it is asking for the tag name. Select the tag level update time upon change so here you can see field type field type like as input we are using or as output we are using this display or both means we can enter the value just like set point value and what is the output we are getting okay what we have entered actually okay we're displaying that so select it as a output select it as a output <clears throat> Say so, okay. Now, if you want to change the properties here, like uh, here, this display is very small, right? You can change the font also. You select this option, go to its object properties. So, whichever the object you select, you can see the object properties below in this property window. So, I select this one, IO field. Then at the bottom, you can expand this window here. Here you can see. We are having font option. You can select double click here and change the font size. Like I will select as 20. Or if you want more, 25. Okay. Or if you want bold, you can double click on bold. You can change this. See here for displaying your uh, graphics. Okay. Or any values. Okay. Any visualization. So these things are mostly depending on your properties. As you can see, when I select this IO field, here we are having attributes, right? In the properties, we are having attributes. For this, what you want to do, what you want to display, right? How you want to display. So everything is depending on the properties. So you need to carefully read this, uh, what properties we are having. Like bold is there. You don't want bold, you can remove the bold. Okay. Other option like text orientation. It is showing horizontal. Or if you want to show it as a vertical, double click here, it will be like this, vertical order. Or you can rotate this also, okay? We are, for this rotation, we are having these properties like this. Okay, so <clears throat> you can make it horizontal. So here it is not in the middle. If you want to show it in the middle of that small window also, 
we are having x and y alignment option so double click here center double click here center okay here it is in the center of this box if you want to change the colors for this font select it go to the effects so here again you need to disable global color scheme then you can change the font color sorry go to the colors we are having font color here double click <coughs> select any other color for that if you want to change the background color okay from here also on this window also you can select or you can see background color option is available here also change it to another color okay now this is the second option there is one more option which we are having in our library okay in library in last class we have discussed about the library then in library we are having plant elements this plant elements yesterday we have seen with the in last class we have seen with the motors so today we see the tanks so in this tanks we are having <coughs> different types of tanks select this one or any tank you can select okay now to this tank again we have to give a tag name so select object properties for this tank tag assignment here you go for the fill level so right click on this dynamic so here for analog always you need to give tag direct tag say level okay now this is a another option from library we are having one more option <clears throat> under display you can see meters so i have these meters here 0 to 100 okay different meters are available here you can simply drag and drop this meter add it here okay then select object properties for this for displaying the value again go to tag assignment for tag assignment attribute dynamic go for tag directly for analog you need to give tag directly here okay no need to go for dynamic dialog here it is showing update time again update cycle double click upon change okay so this is a another option there is one more way you can display by using some standard object like rectangle okay so for this first what we have to do fx no okay then go to the colors background color right click dynamic dialog okay so for this we have to select data type as analog expression of formula tag same tag level say okay then here we are i have selected dynamic dialog dynamic means what color change so here for different levels i want to show different colors okay for such application i can use this option okay then click on add you can see it is showing up to 100 value range up to 100 so double click here select any range like i select 20 here again click on add again change it to 40 add 60 now it takes automatically for another value up to 100 so for up to 20 which color you want to display you can select any color from 20 to 40 some another color then 40 to 60 but here it will change the total color okay 
for the window. Sorry. Then say okay. Now <coughs> save this window. So these are the five different options we are having. Save this window. Go for the runtime to check the result. Okay, now here you can see, referring you the value here, right? <clears throat> so, from simulator, when I change the slider value here, Okay. Right. Okay. So this is how we are displaying our analog value. Okay. <clears throat>